Hello everybody and uh, welcome to the Online Academy of Irish Music. My name is Caroline Keane. I'm a concertina player from Limerick, um, Ireland, but living in Dingle, County Kerry. So um, I'm going to teach you a tune now. It's a lovely jig called um, The Humours of Glen Dart. And uh, yeah, I'm going to teach you the tune first, phrase by phrase. And then we'll look a little at some nice simple uh, ornamentation, um, some technique, uh, things like fingering, um, position of your notes and um, a little bit on simple variation as well. So I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> So now I'm going to teach you the tune from the very start. We're going to be starting on a B on your right hand side. The tune is in D, but it starts on a B. So we have B. I have two extra buttons here, so don't let that confuse you. You might not have these or you might have them. Um, and the same on this side. So I never move my fingers out of position really. So if it's the first finger, it's going to be the first button. And I'll tell you which row we're in. So we're going on first finger on the right hand side. Then first finger on the left. So. again. One more time. That low D I'm doing it on my baby finger where your F sharp usually is on the left hand side. It doesn't matter if you have a if you have enough bellows and you feel comfortable doing it on the pull in the normal row, absolutely perfect. It's just another way of getting your bellows a little tighter if you're finding that when you're playing it, especially a little bit slowly, you're running out of room in your bellows. So it's a little trick and it also adds a nice kind of a oomph to the tune. And don't forget you can also use your a tiny, tiny tad of air on any of those E's if you're having difficulty keeping the concertina bellows in. So again. Second phrase. Again, some air on those if you want. A good way to practice your air button is just in isolation. Make sure that you're playing your air button, um, but the note is still coming out. So make sure that you're barely, barely, barely touching it. You could come up with an exercise like... So start out here. something with lots of out notes and then an in note to start practicing using your air button and making sure that the note still pops out because you want to disguise that air button at all times. So back to our tune. Air button if 
you need it. Next phrase, third phrase. Again. That's a little DFA arpeggio at the end. And then you're on your right hand side. For your fourth phrase. Now, if you're using the same bellows, um, the same layout as I'm using, um, which is a Jeffries, you can just simply move your first finger down to the C sharp, or you can do the D starting on your left, which is actually really, really good. So, so your first button on your inside row on your left, and your B is the second button down. So, and that leaves you free for your first finger. There's no jumping about. Of course, in order to do that, you're going to have to end the last phrase on your A here. So, so instead of the A up here, you're doing the A down here, and then you're free for. So off you go again. Happy it? So that's your first part. Let me play it again for you. in the end of the second phrase. So let me play your second phrase. You can put a cut between the last two. That's a nice thing to do. So make sure you're always um, cutting those E's so that you have three separate E's and not, and not kind of this drony out thing that goes on forever with no particular rhythm to it. So. Then we're going to practice that. So it's a cut. So you're counting one, two, one, two. And that's a good way to make sure that everything's nice and tight and crisp. So one, two, one, two. So. That's nice there. And the same on the very last line. Nice to put a cut there as well. You don't have to do it every time, but it just it's um, a good thing to be able to do, and then you can distribute it around the rest of the tune. So D D D are your melody notes. And I'm going. You don't want an A D, you want a just a cut onto it. So That's it. So first part. That's it. That's your first part. It's the second part. That again. I like that nice and flowy. So I'm doing a lot of it on the out again. So D on your right, second finger down in the middle row. E on your left, first finger on your inside row. Again, this is just how I like to play it. There are other ways that work as well. And if you like those, go for it. Best of all, do a mixture of everything, but this is just how I like it. So, so the only thing there that's on your left is your E. And again. 
again. That's it. The only problem with this is it leaves your bellows quite um, open, but that's also an opportunity to work on your air button work. So second part then, second phrase. That again. So that E, D, E on the left, I like it there. And back to the right. Rather than if everything's on the out and everything's on the in and they're in phrases, it, it becomes a little bit flat. So. so back to your first phrase. Second. Put a sneaky little bit of air on that D as well. Third phrase. Now we're over to our A here, third, uh, first finger A, and then B, C sharp, B on your left, C sharp on your right. Sorts out any issues if you have. Um, issues jumping between the B and the C, but it also gives a nice kind of a flow to this particular part of the tune. And then your next phrase, your last phrase. So again, D on your left, C on your right, B on your left. And your last bit. second part little a to join your parts together if you want cut between your two a's if you want with your B. Great. So now we're going to play everything we've learnt um, nice and slowly from the top. If you've enjoyed this lesson, which I hope you have, um, I have more available at the Online Academy of Irish Music. And I really hope you enjoy them. Best of luck.